hi friends welcome back to live tutorial with laravel 8 we have already discussed about what is library how to install it and what is the library component how to render component and how to pass value to the component and today we will going to learn about how to use library properties so we will use library properties within the component so if you go to the project directory inside the composer.json so you can see the library 2.3 is installed in our application and you can see this is the laravel project and here you can see the laravel 8 running in our browser so today we will create a from and we will create all types of from elements and we will use with the component so first we need to create a library component so i am just stopping the server so to create a component we need to write php artisan make library okay so here i want to create a component the name of the component is suppose so registration okay so just enter this so here you can see the component created and one class file and one view file is created okay so if you go to the project directory you can see inside the app http library will get the registration class okay so basically this is the class file of the registration component and if you go to the resource views inside the library will get a blade file for this registration component okay so in our previous video we have described how to render a view from the component so today we will going to create the same things with the html forms element so suppose i want to create a text field suppose i want to add the student name okay so here we will create a input field so just write input type is text just like html and write a beer okay so to see in the next line okay. so now we need to create a routes so just go to the routes so inside the routes we have web.php so to see this view file we need to call the class basically this view is calling from the render method from this class file so just use the namespace so basically use in the routes so write use app http library and name of the class is registration okay and here i will create a link to view this so just create a route and i am creating a get request so write get and create a link suppose registration and add the class name so here the class name is registration colon colon class okay so now run the application so to run we need to use php artisan serve okay so application running so now if we go to the registration link we can see the output so if we go to this link so here we can see a student name and a field that is to enter the name of the student okay and here i will add the name of the student suppose i want to add the name that is david and here i want to display this name with the time of typing so how we can use this so here we need to use the library property we need to create a property into the class file so go to the class file so here we will declare a variable that is public name okay so this is the property of registration class and in the library blade we can access all the properties from the registration blade so just simple echo so here i am creating a hr tag okay so to display after the hr tag so right here student name colon dollar name so basically this name is coming from this class okay so here we need to bind the property inside the input field so just write where colon model and the name of the model is the name okay so write here the name so now if you go to the browser 
and refresh this we can see the student name so here just type david so with the typing we can see the name so just write david and if we want to write any other's name suppose john doe we can see this okay. so now we can understand how to bind data with the text field so now if we go for another type of field that is text area radio checkbox so, so how we can do this okay so just create the fields first so suppose here i am creating a text area suppose address field and beer and here i will create the text area so right here text area and close the text area and add a beer and same like text area we will create a radio button suppose gender and beer for next line so here we will create radio type okay so just write input type radio okay and create another so right here input type radio and add the value here so here is the value is suppose male and here the value is female okay so write female and here is the label that is male and it is female okay so write beer here and now i want to add the checkbox so write here subjects so checkbox can select multiple data so add the data suppose input type checkbox so write here checkbox and the value is suppose physics and the label is physics write here beer and the same like copy another so suppose it is chemistry and next is math okay so just i am using three here so write the value chemistry and math not should be same but this is the value and this is the label okay and the next i want to add the drop downs so suppose here i am writing the course okay so write beer and we will add the drop down so you select and close the select so here we will add the option so write option and suppose the value the first value is suppose blank and this is the label i am writing please select okay and here we will add some another so just copy some okay so here we'll write suppose computer and we'll write electrical and we'll write mechanical okay so i'm passing the value here so inside the value we'll pass electrical and mechanical okay so now if we go to the browser we can see the from is created okay so basically this is the student name address the radio button the checkbox and a drop down okay so now we're going to bind all those things so how we can do this so very simple just like the name we need to write the where model so here write the address so this is address and here write the gender so we'll write the gender and it will be same as the radio button so just like gender and for checkbox we can select multiple data so just write here the subjects so we'll use subjects for the chemistry the subject for the math so basically this is the same name and next for drop down we will write the where model so here i will write the course okay and the same for others so just write here the course and write here course 
okay so now we need to add this property into the class file so just like copy and here for address we will add address and for gender we will add the variable that is gender and for subject and for subject we can select multiple records so write here subjects equal to array okay and for course we will write the course okay so all are set so now if we display all this so we can see the output so for student name we are printing this so just like the student name we will print others okay so write here the property address so here is address so basically this is the address and we will add the gender so basically this is the gender and here write gender so the next is subject so subject text basically array so to print array we need to write the subject equal to basically we will print each data into the loop so inside the ul we will print all the subject name so right here ul and inside the ul we will execute a loop so write for each subjects dollar subject as subject okay dollar sub okay and close the loop so end for each so just like laravel and inside this we will write inside the li so we will print the dollar sub here okay so just like this okay so subject is printed and now the last is course okay so write here the course so basically which the user will select okay so now all the set so if you go to the browser we can use this okay so here you can see the student name address gender subject and course okay so now let's fill this so suppose student name is robert greek and the address is suppose one two three four street okay so so here you can see when you typing anything we can see the output instantly and if you select the male we can see the male is appear if we change it we can see the female so just write male and we we'll choose the physics so here we can see physics chemistry so it's very simple and outstanding thing so instantly we can see all the outputs okay so just select math and if we unselect the chemistry so we can see this and if we choose the electrical we can see the output okay sorry uh, there may have a mistake so so here for select option we don't need to write here we need to write all the things in the select tag so just write here so this is a small mistake okay so now same things just go to the browser and refresh this so i'm writing anything that is robert and address 1234 street okay and just select the mail the physics math and select the course that is computer so here the computer is appear so now select the electrical so electrical is appear so this is all about library property and we can understand how to bind data with the from that is the text field address that is the text area radio button checkbox and drop down okay so basically all kind of sub from element we can understand so if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section so next day we are going to discuss about property debouncing and lazy updating using the library so this will going to be a very interesting things so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye